land because it does him no good, but gives him liability. You know? um, so Mr. Zerinsky is saying, uh, you know, I wanted that included. So uh, this way I get my driveway plus I, I can fix this bridge. As a, as a member of the homeowners? Right. And how many other homeowners are on this group? <clears throat> you know, I'm here. How many are in that association? Excuse me. I'm here to uh, John Zerinsky. If you've got any questions, I will try to answer them. Okay, good. So how many people are on this homeowner? How many people are in the homeowners association? Uh, 26 to 32. Oh, okay. It's, okay. Open, it's open between Memorial Day and Labor Day. They have two barbecues. John Zerinsky is vice president. And there's that many properties beyond this bridge? Uh, there's one house there, across the bridge. There's one residential house on that road. Okay. That bridge. Pick off that bridge. Is that Ferguson? What's that? Is that Ferguson? Ferguson? The, the residential? Yeah, yeah. Does anybody live in? What's that? Randy? There was a house. Some old Italian fellow. Yeah, he passed away there in, in uh, uh, the flood. And then his son passed away, oh, two or three years ago. The daughter has it from New Jersey. But they might be up twice a year. But it is occupied. There is, yeah. There is a house over there. So he depends on that bridge also. They, 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 do, they did put the cost when Hurricane Irene came through. So what they're afraid of, you're saying now, is that now that, uh, who's selling? McLeod? Yes. McLeod is selling his property. So now they're worried that whoever buys it is going to give them grief again. Does the right of way transfer? Does the right of way? Yes. The right of way goes with the land. It goes, goes with the land. So regardless of which one of these two own the property, the homeowners association still will have right away. access and right away through the bridge and the new owner is uh mr zerinsky mr zerinsky is the one who wants to he wants to buy it and he's saying he's going to maintain that bridge right is that it yes he's saying he's going to maintain it yeah that's yeah. what he told me on the phone uh this morning Is there any other way <laughs> to get to the homeowners association other than this bridge? No. Isn't there? No. I thought there was another. Because it, again, it comes to the same question I said at the workshop: Why does he want to own this piece of property? It's well, a it's a community road. Yeah, he wants yeah. to own it because the highway's <coughs> on it, and he wants to own it because he wants to be able to fix that bridge without any hassles like they had in the past. In the past. It, it happens. Some of the some of the owners after Hurricane Irene, with John Zerinsky telling me to raise the bridge three feet higher, uh -huh. so the next hurricane don't block the bridge up. Well, some of the owners, some of the members are 75, 80. Some of them are afraid to go across it, especially with little uh, whatever we call them, little electric cars. Yeah, the car. So they park alongside the road. It's wide enough. McLeod is hollered about, <clears throat> excuse me, cars parked there. They get out of the car, they walk across the bridge, they go to the barbecue, they leave. So John, as a good neighbor and the vice president, is probably paying five times as much as damn little piece of land is worth. Yes, so if Cliffy was a member, or you was a member, and you was afraid to go across that bridge, you could park your car there. Yeah. Hmm. He was at one time going to buy McLeod's house. But and these people only go there like two or three times a year? They have a barbecue, 4th of July, they have a barbecue, Labor Day, and they have a couple meetings maybe in between. They have a Memorial Day breakfast. How much, how much land is he? He he is he's the best man who's ever stepped foot in Chester in 110 years. What's the question? How much land, how much is, land is here? Come on. What, what is oh. in the association? How much is that? I don't know how much 
I mean, they've had all kinds. Randy, do you know how much they have? How much property the association has? Uh, off the top of my head, between three and five acres. They have a handball court. So the, the issue last time was the fact that uh, we're taking, this is in a three acre zone. The other side of the street is an eight and a half zone. <laughs> but, uh, and this is 1.163 acres. Um, Clouds would end up being 2.083, so we're, we're gaining over 0.075 acres. Let's it will end up to be this 2.083? Yes. And they, they sell out that piece. Right, this, this is the, uh, the acres is shown here are what they're going to be. What they're going to be. Once this is up. Uh, you know, in, in here it says talks about the keeping things the way they are in the neighborhood. So what is the ones across the street are? Across the road? 1.5. They're 1.5s. Yeah. Right opposite there. Yeah. 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 The whole, oh, yeah. The whole I, 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 I really not, I don't see any problem with doing this. I don't have attachments, but you'll see all the lots around there are this side are smaller. In fact, the, the two acre ones. Many of them lots of What's the zone in the association? Uh, three. That's a three. Yes. three. That's a, a three. So if any future plans get here, there has to be three acres on. Yeah, they can. Right. Yeah. Now, do these people in the association own that property, or is it a cooperative ownership? The cooperative ownership, I believe. Right. Uh, all the members. All the members own it. It's cooperation. So it's similar to the issue that we had up in Woodland Valley. And oh, yeah. a fellow tried to sell us, he wanted to get a mortgage and he couldn't right. because he didn't own the property. Right, right. right. That association. Yeah, that. These lots aren't part of the jigsaw for the right way to it. Yeah, we're, no, I mean, we're thinking about like the next year. <laughs> we just make everything have to work. They do that. Well, let's hear from the boys. I would say the whole association land is in the floodplain anyway, so it's not likely anybody's going to uh, build houses on the university. Yeah. Stuff, so. it, it, to be honest with you, I've been there for 40 some years, um, third generation. And John was a member back in, in the 80s. Yeah. I mean, do we have any any lead way to because this is a special situation? And the well, fact I, that we're going to make one lot smaller and make the other one bigger by the exact same. Well, I, I don't see where in the regulations it says that if you have a smaller lot, you can make it a little smaller. To be honest with you. I don't know where that is, but I do know that from all it. my life on the uh, planning board. You can't do it. You can't do it. It's the town code. Except you're bringing lot one uh, up. You're making that big price. price. Yeah, but that's already that's already made. That's already in the one and a half acre, and it's already two acres. Right? Okay. No, it's in the three also. No, they're both in the three. Both of these are part three. Both of these are three. So it's on the other side of Route 214, it's just across the road. That's where it's 1.5. There's got to be something we could do that this is a special. Because it's just, it's just a shift in the. We should address that too. In the line. line. Just, I mean, that's all it is. No, you could get a variance. I don't know why. Yeah. They could. They could get a variance. I don't know why we zoned it like that. You know? hey. Yeah, because it was <coughs> like Epstein's subdivision back then. Yeah. Well, he threw his hat where it landed, it was the property. Right. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, like half of the Pika Moose is uh, in the R 1.5, and the other half is in R5. I mean, that's the way they zoned it. You know, it's just. They just ran through the town, and, you know. So you, you, they look at this taxi, you look at this taxi, and it just looks so strange because all the lots on both sides of the road are the same size, right? All so under two acres, and then they zone it. I mean, look at Pine Hill. One side is a little commercial, the other side is smaller. I mean, we can send it to the zoning and get they'll get it. So I mean, it's not taking away or. It's, it's not all creating together. any hardship for right, It's not creating any problem or... Yeah, I don't know where he is on selling his house. I know they want to get it taken care of before yeah. the house is sold. Yeah. But I think if we just vote on it, we might have some problems. It's not this, it's the future, right? The guy right. that wants to do the same thing but cut his lot down by two-thirds. Right, that's what's going to happen. You know, that'll happen. Right. But if yeah, this one there, it's okay. Yeah. What you said, president. Right. right. Can we approve this contingent upon zoning board granting of the variance? No. No. They got to get the variance. My, my suggestion is done if you go to the ZBA, also have a letter from the people that are in the uh, community association, yeah. the association signing off on it. Just because they're going to be a buddy neighbors. Mm. I mean, it's for their benefit. Yes. I mean, it's, everybody's going to. I mean, this man Zaritsky. But you have to notify you know. them anyway. Oh no, they're not adjoining owners. The road no. leads to them, but they, they don't join these properties. No, they don't. They don't join. They don't. Their land does not join this piece of land that Zaritsky's buying. On the other side of the bridge. Oh, I see. The community hall does not own the land on the other side of the bridge. There's still a right of way until. I'll be at the bridge. They get to the community hall. So who owns this? Yeah, I'm right there. Right there, and if a block is carrying land. Oh, so they would have to approve it. Approve? No. No, because that variance is only to this bridge. Yeah, that comes. That's what. The no, but the where, where is the community? Could you just? Yeah. Okay. You know where? You know where? You know where John's house is with the red metal roof? Yes. Immediately across the bridge. It doesn't abut the down Just down past those Can you see here? Down here. Just yeah. down the line. So, so then this is this property here abuts it? No. It doesn't. Oh, so there must be more right away. See where the bridge is? Yeah. See this? This road oh, comes down yeah. here and then yeah. it comes over this way. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a right of way on someone else's land. Yeah. yeah. So that's a right of way across this person's land as well. Right. So he'd only be buying half the bridge right. in any case. So right. John is buying the bridge, which is half, half, half the bridge. Half the bridge. So, uh, half the bridge. And that little road. <laughs> and then this red and white goes all the way through this piece of property and comes all the way down right. here. This person here. Yep. Who's, I mean, he, which one's trying to sell? Who's looking to sell their property? The larger lot. Okay. This guy. Okay. Right now, he owns this, to this, to this driveway, and he owns half the bridge. Right. And this person has a peak down here, and he's really close. I say send it to the developer. I think so. Yeah, I think so. And have to get them a very I think it's best to send it to the zone when we get the variance. Yeah, so everybody doesn't want to send it. So, the consensus here? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The worst that can happen is the meeting lasts five minutes long. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so what? Okay, so three hours. Yeah, or three That's hours. it. If anybody is make a motion to. I make a motion for I the second. Hours. All those in favor? Aye. Thanks, Randy. Why do we need the interfolder? Why don't you just take it all home? Why? What do you mean? Why? You got bit by a spider, didn't you? You got this by a spider one hand. That's what happens to me. Oh, yeah, I got all swollen. And what did they do? Did they give you a week? Are we done here? Yeah, we're yeah, done. Yeah, you got to get Thank you, Ellen. My wife got bitten on the leg by a spider. Oh, that's good. She got a red mark. Oh, yeah. It was really red. It itched, and then it hurt. And it's like my hand swelled up to the point where I couldn't go anymore. So that hurt. Did you see the spider that bit you? No. It was like three dots though. Was that happened to me one night in my sleep. Hmm. Yeah, it's always my yeah. sleep. Yeah. My heart was spider. real with spiders. No, 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 I don't know, John. Last time you missed. Yeah. I told him he's the Donald Trump of candidates. Who is? Hey, don't talk about Rick. Who's the Donald Trump? Yeah. 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 I don't know what the matter with John. Where did he tell me he misses the bottle and he don't come down and he gets it? It's not me. That's John. 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 That's Yeah, but what he's talking about is...